Thanks for joining everyone. We're going to continue with our plan on how to get you making $250,000 an accountant in six to eight years. This is real life. I did the same thing and many of my former colleagues did as well. Accounting is easy. Accounting is boring. Accounting is stress-free and it gives accountants a great work-life balance. If you want to make a six-figure salary, do it all remotely and do it for less than 40 hours a week. A career in accounting is for you. I can personally attest to all of that and more. My name is Nelson Alvarez. I'm a CPA and executive manager management consultant. Here on the C-Suite, my mission is simple, to put you in the C-Suite. Now let's keep this discussion moving. If you recall, the first step I told you in trying to earn $250,000 in six to eight years or less is to first land an entry level role at one of the big four public accounting firms. The big four accounting firms are the largest public accounting firms in the world with basically an office in every single country. It's really not that difficult to get a job there. The accounting firms have such an insatiable demand for their products and services, they're always going to be hiring. Now, if you don't already know, the big four firms are PwC, KPMG, EY, and Deloitte, okay? begs the question, how do we get a job there? Well, first, you need a four-year degree in accountancy if you don't already have one. This is going to near guarantee you an interview. Second, if you're fresh out of college or don't have any previous accounting experience, then you need to get some. Get a part-time job as a bookkeeper, volunteer at a nonprofit, it really doesn't matter. Do it for free, honestly, because in six to eight years when you're making over 200K, you're going to thank me. Big four recruiters care more that you have some accounting experience, more than what school you went to or what your GPA PA was. They really want people coming in that have at least some accounting experience, okay? So make sure you get that. Lastly, to seal the deal and land that job, you need to have a high level understanding of accounting and finance topics. Okay, I do a great video series called How to Make $700,000 a Year as a CFO. That video series is all about high level accounting concepts, okay? Watch that video, check it out, cherry pick some things. If you spit some of those topics out I discussed in the interview, you're going to near land that job. Again, complete those two tasks I mentioned, get some accounting experience and no high level accounting topics, okay? If you have those things, there's almost zero reason you would not be able to land a job at a big four firm. Now, the most important thing I'm gonna tell you when applying to all the big four firms, okay? Yes, apply to all four of them, okay? It increases your chances of landing a role. You need to make sure you tell them that you wanna work in the financial statement audit division of their company. Every accounting firm calls it differently, but the financial statement audit division is where you wanna work. Tell the recruiter that, okay? Now, why do you wanna work in the financial statement audit division? Working in the financial statement audit division will give you insight into how many different companies, public and private, how their financial statements are constructed and interpreted. Listen closely. Understanding how financial statements are constructed and interpreted is the single most important factor that will propel your accounting career to the next level more than any other sub-accounting field out there, okay? Believe me on this. The highest level and highest paid accounting roles in any organization are those that involve the construction and interpretation of the financial statements, okay? I'm trying to set you up for success here. Our goal is to get financial statement audit experience working at a big four firm. That way we can springboard to a career in the private industry where we can easily command a salary of $250,000 or more. If you do any research into the highest paying accounting roles in any organization, it's the director of accounting, the director of SEC reporting, and corporate controller roles all involve financial statement audit experience, okay? Companies love hiring big four alumni that have that type of skill set, okay? This is how you set yourself up for success and do it pretty quickly. Okay, let's go over a little bit more of the career path, okay? Fast forward, you got the job, you got your entry level accounting role in a big four firm, okay? You're probably making between 60 to $70,000 a year in your first year, okay? You're working hard, you're being curious, you're making a good reputation. Okay, your second year of big four public accounting, you get a small raise, so you'll probably be making between 65 to 75,000 at this point. Okay, in your third year, you're gonna get a promotion to senior accountant, and this is where you're gonna get a larger raise, okay? Senior accountants at big four public accounting firms typically make between 90 to 100,000, okay? Okay, so literally just over the course of three years from your start of public accounting to really to get to senior level, uh, you've basically added about 30 grand to your salary. And let's not forget, you're actually still working remotely. A lot of the big four have gone completely remote at this time. All right, so everything's going great. You're getting that financial statement on experience. You can only go up from here. Okay, one last thing to mention about your three to four years in public accounting. You'll be required to get your CPA license before you can even become promoted to the senior level, okay? That's your goal. It's honestly not that difficult. 
Golf. They pay for your courses, they pay for your exams, okay? And if you want that $250,000 a year salary, you need to have your CPA license, okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop here in this video. We discussed how to land that entry level role and what the path is you should take. In the next video, I'm gonna discuss how to get that manager role in the private sector, where you can get a salary between 120 to 140,000, okay? And then we'll finish off with how do you get the director uh, and the controller roles that lead you to the 250,000 plus salary. Look forward to seeing you there.